Hey, good morning, guys. Are you planning a little get-together at your place for St. Patrick's Day? Well, let me give you some ideas from two of my favorite places, and let me highlight some items that you can keep year-round. Let's explore home goods first. Display the iconic shamrock symbol at your front door. This piece is made of wood, and it looks like it's been in the family for a while. If you're looking for a unique decor piece, this leprechaun hat by Martha Stewart is it. Not typical St. Patrick's Day decor, and it would look fantastic on an entry table. This garland would look so pretty styled in a tray, or even as part as your dining room table centerpiece. Take this plant and add it to your vignette. When St. Patrick's Day is over, this plant can still stick around. Adorable little pot of gold. This can be styled along with the plant I just featured. You can use this as a candy dish or leave the lid off and put an LED light inside. This sweet little rainbow can be styled in the bookshelf or you can put it up against the backsplash in the kitchen. Such beautiful soft greens in this throw blanket. This is one piece that can definitely stick around after St. Patrick's Day. Lots of choices in the candle department. I smelled all of these and they were all a winner in my book. They had the matcha truffle, they had soy wax, and they had natural coconut wax with essential oils. And here's a tip. I always keep those wooden lids and use them as risers in other decor pieces that need just a little lift when styling. Pretty table runner with all the little shamrocks. It had an organic feel to the material. This one had a little bit more of an off-white base. Larger shamrocks and shades of mossy greens. These woven paper placemats are awesome. I love that I get eight for $7. Don't put these away after the 17th. These can easily transition into spring. If it's the theme you're after, they did have shamrock-shaped placemats. I love the blue and green tones in this one and the little shamrocks in gold throughout. Soft green shade table napkins and you can use these year-round. These are high-end stemware. Buy these for your St. Patrick's Day get-together and then use them year-round. Made in Italy. Make sure to pick up some decorative coasters to protect your furniture. Festive hand towels and a very soft material. This coffee mug is huge, probably holds over 20 ounces. Here they have another mug with happy little shamrocks. And a mug with dogs. And this one was my favorite. Lucky to be your Nomi. <laughs> if you're finding this video helpful so far and finding decor for your home, please subscribe. I would love to have you join me on a regular basis. Get your green on as we head on over to Hobby Lobby. Please keep in mind that the prices listed for Hobby Lobby are before the discount, which is now at 40%. I don't know if you can tell from the picture, but I love this welcome sign because it has a lot of texture. Small signs that you can add to your St. Patrick's Day decor. Now, normally I don't like to decorate with signs, but for holidays, I think they're okay. Now, I totally love the look of this. It's a wall hanging, but it made me feel like I was in a tavern. Mm -hmm. 
This deep green and white stem would look so beautiful styled in an old weathered vase. Hobby Lobby had a variety of kitchen towels on hand. This luck of the Irish stone can be styled with a small plant and a small candle, and there you have your trio. And here you have more options and door signs. Keep your beverages cold with shamrocks made out of ice. They had a variety of banners, but these were my two favorites. A lot of good choices for the garlands, but I like the wooded ones best. If you're hosting a get together, then this is your hat. Isn't it fantastic? Don't keep the fun all to yourself. Please like and share with all your friends. Goodbye.